Here's how to find the short interest for a particular stock in TradingView in three simple clicks. The first click you want to do is click this plus button here up to your watch list and add a symbol. You want to make sure that all is clicked on and not just stocks or funds. You want to make sure that this is all for every product out there to search. And then just type in the ticker of the company you want to look at the short volume on and go your ticker underscore short volume. And you can click this little plus button here. I click number two. That'll add it to your watch list. And then go and actually see the short volume because we're still on the AMD chart right now. Go down to your watch list here, look at the bottom, it'll add there, and that is the short position for AMD. And you can see that blue line now is showing you the short volume for the AMD stock. Now you can do this for any stock out there. And as a bonus, you can also take it one step further and actually overlay the position of this short here onto a chart for AMD. For example, let's take a look and see how you can read both the price and the short volume with AMD. So we're gonna scroll back up, click on AMD's chart. And if we go up to the top left here, this little plus button, we can actually compare AMD to a different symbol. And if we want to do this again, we can compare it to AMD underscore short volume. And ba-boom, we've just added the short volume for AMD into the chart with our candlesticks, a daily candlestick. We can zoom that out too. If we wanted to go a little bit further out in time, we can see the short volume here at the bottom in orange. And we can see how the price moves for the different timelines on the chart as well. You can see the spikes, peaks, and valleys. See how the market reacts and play it out this way. How cool is that? If you're new to short interest, there's two main ways that traders use this kind of information to their advantage. The first way is to gauge market sentiment and understand that if short interest is high, like it's speaking right here, it may indicate that investors believe the stock price will fall and cause a decline in the market. The second way is to identify potential short squeezes. You might remember the GameStop fiasco back in 2021. To look at that and to see, kind of compare, we're going to look at GameStop, but it's also showing the AMD short volume here still. So we have to get that off the chart right now. We're going to click this over here and take that off. And let's add in the GameStop short volume. You guys remember this? This is when the Wall Street Bets forum on Twitter took over and almost bankrupted a hedge firm. And you can see that crazy short, oh, short interest right there when the spike happened. There's a short squeeze. So this can also identify short squeezes and give you an idea when short squeezes may happen when there's a crazy amount of shorting. If the shorting can't cover and the people start buying up and running up the price, the shorts have to cover their losses, which drives the price up even further, which happened with the GameStop thing. But there's two ways to look at it. You're gauging interest or you're seeing short positions. And you can do this and even save more time. You can just have your short positions here, these kind of charts. If you want to have these by themselves in your account, the easiest way to do it is to just make a quick little new watch list. Click up here, create new list. And I could just do short position. And then I would just start, boom, adding these all these shorts. If I'm going to do Apple short plus Microsoft plus, and just keep adding these in bulk to your list, AMD, anything underscore short, and it'll pop up short volume and just add it to your list. That way you have a short position watch list. You can see the short positions. Let's do it by day. You can overlay them when you want to, but you can click through your watch list between your short positions and your main watch list and just go back and forth and see where the action's at. And with this, you can now become well positioned to identify short squeezes when they're about to happen, like the next GameStop, and hopefully get ahead of the game and make some money. If you guys got some value to this video today, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a whole lot to me. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.